Professor Sue Bok Choi. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm very grateful to have a lecture in the uh, uh, School of Medicine. When I was uh, as such as you in the student, I'm, I want to make a, a progress in the medicine because I think it is very important. Uh, say more arrogantly, I say to you more influence to you. It's my purpose. Uh, in general, uh, our clinician, I'm a clinician, uh, uh, clinician uh, have a, a pessimistic attitude to the diabetic patient. But we have a new solution. We must have a new solution. I have a dream. Let's talk about my dream. So these two abnormalities have relationships. It's a reciprocal relationship. It's a hyperbolic relationship. When the insulin sensitivity increase, the insulin circulation is decrease, and vice versa. So uh, in, uh, in definition, it, this, uh, this the, uh, hyperbolic relationship is uh, shift to left to downward. It is diabetes. So when we make this relationship to the upward and the right world, we can conquer the diabetes mellitus. So in the, the diabetes mellitus, in physiological way, the relationship is in the normal group tolerance. When the patient is in stress, the insulin actually is decreased, uh, decrease, so a beta cell, beta cell insulin chicken is increased, and vice versa. But in diabetes mellitus, it's going down here. When the insulin resistance is developed, it, it should be increased the insulin, insulin secretion, but it, it did, did not increase insulin secretion. It is diabetes. So when we make this state to here, it is uh, normal. No way. It is compensated very well, so it is normal. How can it do that? Let me try it. But uh, the, in, the, in the reality, it is very pessimistic. Uh, the beta cell failure in type 2 diabetes occurred only in the natural history of type 2, type, type two diabetes and is more severe than previous appreciated. And the most commonly used anti-diabetic agents, sulfonylureas and metformin, do not prevent beta cell failure. It is well common known. So we have a pessimistic concept. In reality, in pathological department, they report that the uh, island Langerhans is distorted in diabetes mellitus. So destruction of a beta cell or alpha cell is occurred in diabetes mellitus. And also, insulin secretion is deficient, really deficient, from the early stage of diabetes mellitus. By the same amount of uh, glucose in, infused to the body by IV uh, infusion, it is of all, of from the early stage, it is almost 85% deficiency of insulin delivery, insulin secretion. But, uh, but the insulin deficiency is uh, depend upon the previous glucose level. For the IBGTT, uh, they saw that the first simple glucose level is more or less than uh, uh, 90, and uh, 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 also it is uh, 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 progress increase. The insulin secretion, acute, relative acute insulin response is very high in the low level of the first glucose level, but increase that uh, from the level of 150 uh, for uh, this one, it is, uh, but uh, above the 150, eh, it is abolished, the insulin secretion, acute stage. So I think the beta cell is depending upon the previous glucose level. So if we can control in the uh, diabetic state, the fasting blood glucose to the normal, it is possible. 
the beta cell is can uh, can secretion normally. There are possibility. How can we do uh, uh, the, the treat the uh, glucose level? And another thing, in the UK PDS, a very famous study, by using the sulfonia metformin, the beta cell loss is occurred every year for percent decrement. So it makes a force, make the more badly worse by the using the sulfonia and metformin. It is proved that. So because the insulin secret is decreased every year by the oral hyperagent, sulfonia metformin, the resulting hyperglycemia is increased progressively. It make a type that make a uh, uh, it is normal level, make a, uh, the, the, the diabetic complication, etc. And also, uh, 19, uh, uh, 2013, 2013, in the diabetic care uh, paper, it shows that we have a very pessimistic algorithm, bad algorithm to treat to fail algorithm. ADA and ESD has algorithm. To not, not good. It is treat to fail. They know to fail, but they treat. I don't understand that attitude. And another thing, insulin resistance is not cause. Maybe it's not cause. It is a resulting, resulting uh, response for prevention, pre protect their cells for overnutrition to the cells for the making the barrier for the hyperglycemia. So it, maybe it's not the cause. So only thing is the most important thing is insulin deficiency. Oh, how can we do that? I know that. It's my PhD thesis. It is my PhD thesis. I grow up the cells from the one cell from the human cell, fibrast, different media. So different media, glucose media, 100 to 450 milligrams. And we checked the insulin action by the same amount of insulin concentration. With the same uh, genetic information, they showed insulin resistance. And we switch over the media, exchange it, experiment, it will recover it. So insulin resistance is not the cause. Maybe, 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 surely, it is the resulting phenomena for the hypoglycemia for protecting their cells. So when we are, uh, we are, we are, we are conquered insulin deficiency, all things is possible to normal. And uh, as you know, we have a very difficult time for the diabetic patient. We are failed to treat the diabetic patients. For the ADA target, age target, most of them is uh, uh, 60, 60, more than 60 percent of patients with type diabetes has uh, more than 72 percent hemoglobin. So we are losing the game. So we need a new therapy. What is new therapy? I don't make the humans very well. So if physically, what's wrong? The insulin secretion is up and down normally. But and the, the type 2 and the type 1 is uh, decreased. So I make a new, new machine, small machine, have a basal insulin delivery with a bolus insulin delivery, meaning the normal pancreas working. So we make a basal delivery, and another one, we make a meal bolus, simulating the normal pancreas. I make it, and uh, okay, please give me. <laughs> so maybe introduction is I'm the first commercialized patient. I'm a doctor. I designed my pump. Or, uh, for 36 years ago. So, for proof of the, my, my dream, 
Okay? For the prevention of diabetes complication, yes. There are many, many of them. Uh, it is uh, British Medical Journal uh, published uh, the last year. For we are treated by the uh, insulin pump compared to the multiple daily injection, the mortality and the cardiovascular disease is decreased for six, uh, seven, seven days and uh, seven years. Well, uh, the uh, number of subjects is uh, uh, 18,000 type patients. And it is very famous for DCCT. They controlled by the new uh, insulin pump, uh, new method of the insulin pump, and they decreased it down, hemorrhagic, and it is a conventional insulin therapy to type 1. And the resulting is a com uh, complication prevention is occurred, almost 60-70% uh, reduction of complication, retinopathy, uh, neuropathy, and uh, nephropathy. Well, we can Prevent it. We can prevent the diabetes complicated by the suitable method of uh, normalization of hypoglycemia. And also in, in my data, we are the nephropathy also uh, prevented. Uh, the creatine and the cure of diabetes. It's my paper published in 2003, uh, MMDR. Uh, so we have uh, an emission. So uh, how can Occurred in emission. Deficiency in deficiency is uh, improved? Yes. Uh, I have uh, oral, oral uh, the presentation in the Sweden uh, in the EAST 2010. At the time, I presented that the hemorrhagic AIC level is decreased, normalized, and the uh, CPETA level is increased by the each pump therapy. So the beta cell is improved. And uh, another eight-day meeting, we have uh, uh, make make sure show that the uh, C peptide is increased in the two-hour uh, the C peptide level and the hemoglobin is decreased. <coughs> also, the the shorter period of uh, duration, shorter duration is better for the improvement of beta cell. And the resistance or decrease in the, uh, disposable is increased. Yes. So you print EAST 2014. So uh, the hemorrhagic level is decreased, and the serum shipeta level is increased, and also disposal index is increased, and it, uh, uh, the daily use uh, insulin dose is decreased. Also, uh, insulin secretion and uh, uh, insulin uh, the sensitivity diagram is shifted on right and right away. It is going to the normal physiology. So we know that. By the pump therapy, with a suitable uh, other uh, method, we, uh, uh, we can uh, prove uh, the, improve the condition of a diabetes state. So I did my papers so showing that the beta cell function improved. And also, there are uh, many uh, also think that uh, or near normal glycemic target range uh, uh, within type 2 diabetes, inch pump are increased use in patient type 2 diabetes, mellitus. And uh, also, uh, in the position statement, importantly, ILA dysfunction is not necessarily irreversible. It is in action reliable beta cell security burden and an intervention that improved glycemia ameliorate beta cell. So the earlier, the better group control, the better outcome in insulin pump therapy. So uh, I last year, I presented uh, the long-term emission in type 2 diabetes by insulin pump therapy in the ADA meeting. Show that uh, slide. So insulin pump therapy improved beta cell function and in induced the long-term glycemic emission regarding type 2 diabetes diabetes duration. So uh, it is held by the subcutaneous insulin infusion, held by the belt. Also, in Korean pro golfer uh, got an uh, inch pump and got the championship before they don't. And uh, also, it is Ayodaho uh, beauty contest in American Hedge. Okay, we have uh, uh, we, our, our team 
uh, the development in 1979 and uh, until now. And uh, at last, my hometown is another town, is a beautiful lake inside there. Uh, the the ma major, city major declared that uh, this city is for the diabetes mellitus. So we are making that new town. So do you know who is the? Is the general secretary of United Nations. And uh, he is his mother. He's in diabetes. He beat us and got, got the insulin pump, got the remission, no treatment. So he invited me to the uh, New York, uh, Manhattan, his home, and have a good lunch. Really. <laughs> and uh, we, have a, we have a purpose. We have a vision. It is a medi vision. I have a vision. <laughs> really vision. I have a vision. The vision is I do not deliver pain to the, my patient. Really. I want to deliver joy to my patient. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>